Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to take a look at a budget-friendly overlanding and camping refrigerator and freezer. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to take a look at what I consider a budget friendly 12 volt overlanding slash camping style freezer refrigerator. Uh, when I say budget friendly, if you um, have researched these refrigerators because you're into overlanding or whatever, they're pretty pricey and some of them can be well over $800 kind of price. And um, I just wasn't willing to spend that. And if you follow my channel, you know, I try finding budget friendly things more for the common guy. Um, anybody can go out here and buy the most expensive and do a review. But I try finding stuff that I think um, fits, uh, you know, a certain segment of the market that people are looking for a better value. Um, and so I decided to risk it. And um, so I found this on Amazon. Again, I will post in the section below, like I always do, a link to where I got it. So, when I say budget friendly, you can buy this unit for $350, including shipping to your door. So, I thought that was a pretty good deal, and I wanted to give it a shot. So, this unit here is um, a generic brand. I could not find any kind of manufacturer or anything else anywhere on, on the box, on the literature, in Amazon, or anything. They mention a company... I guess that sells it but that's about it I mean it's mentioned like in the warranty kind of thing um, it gets pretty decent reviews but it don't have a lot of reviews so there's I don't know 20 some reviews maybe and it don't get a lot of it doesn't have a lot of reviews but the reviews are good uh, there are some good points and bad points and we'll go over that uh, I'm gonna read a little bit from the information just to let you know a little bit more about it before we get started looking at the unit itself um, <clears throat> it is 54 quart and they say compressor cooling technology. So it's a high quality brand compressor, whatever that means, uh, provides fast and deep cooling performance. It does go down to negative 13, up to 68 degrees um, Fahrenheit, negative 25 degrees Celsius, 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, LCD panel with temperature and eco uh, max mode selection. Um, it does come with a, a basket for the inside and two power cords. So you can do 110 standard household plug-in or you can do the 12 volt plug-in. It has a built-in battery protection mode. Uh, this, uh, it has three battery protection functions to protect the refrigerator and the battery of the vehicle. Uh, H3, H2, and H1, those are all settings. Um, H3 being high, H2 medium, H1 low. It is recommended to set the battery protection at H2 medium when in use in the car. Uh, then it gives you some common temperature settings like for red wine, vaccines, insulin. So uh, this, this application doesn't you know, have to be for overlanding. Could be uh, you're maybe a long distance tr truck driver, want something in your cab of your vehicle, need to keep some insulins, maybe you're diabetic, um, you know, at, in refrigeration, stuff like this. So this right here would uh, be a, a good unit possibly. It does have a warranty. Now, I did not buy the extra warranty that you can buy, but it supposedly comes with a one year warranty. And I'll read the warranty policy. Um, for a period of one year from the date of original purchase, we will supply new, rebuild, or refurbished parts free of charge. Uh, we may request a defective part in return in exchange for the replacement part. For details, see the instructions. Um, so, you know, some of these don't have warranties at all. Some of them have like a 90-day warranty. This one did have a one-year warranty. Who knows how good they're going to honor that warranty. I did read where uh, some of these units shipped without the basket and the company was very quick to send them out one, things like that. So that's a good sign. Uh, so we'll see. Um, there's another couple versions of refrigerators out there that are what I consider budget friendly. Uh, one is called Costway, I think. And I considered that one. It's very similar to the Smitty Build or the ARB design. It's all plastic uh, type look. But that one got mixed reviews. They talked about the handle braking, things like that. That's what led me to this one. Uh, it is a metal style construction, obviously, with along with some plastic and things. So... <clears throat> Let's look at the unit itself, and then we'll kind of go from there. Um, 
and I'll show you some of the things I do like and some of the things I don't like. So I've had it for two days and been testing with it. For the last couple days, I've left it in freezer mode. Obviously, if it'll get down to freezing temperatures, then it should be fine holding refrigeration temperatures. It does not have a dual zone, so you cannot uh, keep part of your stuff refrigerated, part of it in freezer. Matter of fact, I actually tried creating this ballast here. Uh, it's just a thick piece of foam that I cut down to fit in here, and I'll show you why, uh, where I was going to fit it to see if I could get it to act like uh, the fridge at your home. Um, because you have one compressor and then it's just got a, uh, you know, like a baffle in between that, you know, keeps one size colder than the other. Um, but it is metal construction. The, one of the negatives, I will tell you, it has a glass top and it's got some of these nice pretty flowers kind of emblem, you know, designs on them. But anyway, it does have a, a glass top that I knew about going into this based on one of the reviews, a guy mentioned that. I'm probably going to try figuring out a way to cover that. Maybe with a piece of cutting board material, maybe with a piece of Kydex, uh, maybe or something. I'm just gonna glue it on top because if I ever need to remove it, uh, you should be able to just pull it up and then uh, like, a, like a spray glue and then just scrape the stuff off if you ever do, you know, want to get rid of that plastic. But I think I'm gonna figure out some type of cover for this glass. So the functions, the buttons are here. Now, I will show you, this is one of the things that I kind of eh, don't really like. The up and down for your temperatures here. Just touch them up and down. So, it is not like a tactile style button. It is almost like a button on your cell phone. So, I, it's under glass because uh, this piece here is glass also. Now, if you watch, if I hit this on-off button, just tapping it. Now, these, you can tap pretty easy this no but if you hold down it'll go off now watch this if I barely touch it it'll come on that thing you have to really push on you know so I don't know that's okay uh, I guess but uh, then you've got you can go into your modes where you can change what they talked about the eco mode and all that so it does have some battery protection for your battery of your car. It will not, supposedly not let your battery of your car get down so low. Now, you know, you take that risk on your own. Uh, but I always keep some type of jumper box when I'm out, uh, out and about camping or whatever. So I'm not too worried about that. I've got a way to jump myself off even with nobody around. Uh, again, metal construction, plastic handles. The handles are okay, seem fairly sturdy, um, but I'm not going to probably move this around a whole lot anyway, so no big deal to me. Uh, as far as handles go, it, uh, again, metal construction all the way around. It is vented on one, two, three sides. The plug-in is here. It does have, it's kind of a flat style instead of just sticking way out. <coughs> I've added this. The reason I added this, I wanted to be able to check temperatures with it in my vehicle, and it's going to be my, it's going to be set in my vehicle like this uh, because that was another reason I bought it. It fits perfect in the back of an FJ Cruiser, uh, long ways like this, so I don't have to turn it sideways and I don't have to put a seat down. And now at a glance, I can look. Now another reason I like this unit here is I can make sure that this temperature that it's showing is uh, accurate with this. So right now it's showing 27 degrees inside the refrigerator and then 69 degrees outside so uh, you can buy these units about anywhere amazon ebay a lot of different places they're like a weather station so they just got a little uh, probe that goes down in there uh, i use these a lot on these refrigerators uh, even in like a dorm refrigerator and then you can actually see what the maximum and minimum was so the maximum on this one was 46 degrees at one time so that'll give you, and it was negative three um, when I had it in freezer mode over the last couple days, and now it's currently there. So you can tell, because you don't want to get sick by having food that um, was bad, got not held at correct temperature. So you can hit this reset button here, and now I've reset it all, and now it's showing negative 2.5 is where it's at. So that's where the current temperature is reading, and um, let's see, reset. All right, so I want to say negative 2.5, that's Celsius. So it's 27 degrees Fahrenheit. This thing is just uh, great for this purpose. I just Velcroed it on, uh, no big deal. But let's take a look at the inside real quick. So if you look, 
You'll see some condensation around, and the reason is because I had it in freezer mode for the last couple days, and then I've swent, since moved it to refrigeration mode. It comes with this nice big basket here. We'll pull it out and take a look. I'll uh, show you. So mine did come with a basket. Like I said, some people um, in the review said that it didn't come with a basket. They requested one and they sent one out. Mine did come with a basket, uh, which is nice. You can pull stuff to get stuff out. Uh, it's really big. Like I said, 54 quart. So you can hold quite a bit in here. The baffle thing that I was showing you, what I was trying to do is baffle between these two sections here. So I thought maybe I could keep this one refrigerated and this freezer or vice versa. I don't really know how the cooling portion works. I guess it's just through the plastic itself because I don't see like a, a vent. But I thought it might cool more on this side than this one or vice versa. And so I tried doing the uh, way to do that. If you look at these hinges here, they are metal. So it's not like this part is plastic. It is metal there. But uh, this one does not have like a locking lid. So if that's, you know, important to you, this one does not. I actually kind of like it. It's less to break. That was one of the problems with the Costway version, I think. I think it's Costway, guys. Uh, that's the uh, Smitty Build or ARB lookalike. One of the complaints was the handles. Um, but this one, you know, obviously not going to break a handle because it doesn't have, you know, some type of thing. It's just got this little recess here to get your fingers in to lift it up. But uh, overall, I'm happy with it. Like I said, it's, um, it's a gray colored black uh, trim. Part of it is plastic. Like all this up here is plastic, molded plastic. This right here is the metal portion. But uh, I will report back as time goes along with this. Um, we'll do uh, maybe another video or at least put in the comment sections as uh, I use this, just kind of a update or report of how it's going. So far, so good. Um, it's not running right now, but it's fairly quiet. It's not really loud at all. It wouldn't bother me even if I had it in my tent because uh, I do have a 12 volt solar setup. If I stuck it in my tent, that thing running wouldn't keep me awake or anything. But you can hear it a little bit. A word of warning because I about messed up. So when it got delivered, I opened the box, plugged it up, and was trying it out, right? Well, I did that for about five or ten minutes, and the, it has a pretty big box. And so I decided to take the box out to the garage, and right on top of the box it says, Warning, do not use this unit after delivery for six hours. And there's a reason, guys. They get jostled around, they're not set correctly, and the oils in the compressor get moved to one side or the other, and it can damage your compressor. Let it sit. I did, and then I finally unplugged it all, forgot about the, you know having to do that. Let it sit overnight, plugged it back in, and it was fine. It was actually a little loud when I first got it, and I thought, dang, that's pretty loud. Uh, but I think that was because of that oil, and hopefully I haven't done any damage. I don't think so. Uh, but like I said, it because uh, I didn't do it long, just you know, about probably three to five minutes, and then I realized what I'd done. So anyway, keep uh, keep them overnight, and then plug them in and start using them. But um, I have used it in freezer mode and refrigeration mode. So far, so good. It is holding temperature, and that is verified through that uh, other uh, thermometer I got. So let's talk measurements real quick. <clears throat> the unit itself, the total length is 22.8 inches, which is part of the reason I bought it after I measured the back of the FJ. Uh, I like the idea that I didn't have to put my seats down, weird stuff like that. Uh, the height of the height height of the unit is 14.3 inches and the width is 17.2 so you guys uh, and i'll put this right here and it's in the amazon stuff but if you want to freeze your uh, video and you're needing to look at the schematics or the uh, shape and size in case you're trying to put it in a certain spot or a certain vehicle there's that you can stop and stop the video and look at that and write down your measurements and go measure where you're trying to accomplish this you might be putting it in an overlanding trailer whatever but uh, anyway, guys, so far so good. Like I said, it is early uh, as far as having it and doing a lot of testing. So we'll see over the next, you know, three to six months, year, whatever. And like I said, I'll report back as time goes along. Let you know how I think, uh, how it goes and uh, all that. But anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. If you got any experience with this refrigeration uh, unit, please uh, share that with us or something similar. If you got another uh, great bargain somewhere you found that uh, you've tried and you like, then uh, show us that also. As always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.